difference between a recession and a a not growing quite as fast as we have. I think that uh, we're probably due for somewhat of a downturn. I mean, uh, how many how many administrations has there been, or how many quarters has there been before uh, there's been uh, a bit of a downturn? I don't think that if that happens, that we ought to panic over that. We're a part of the world economy, and and everybody's doing pretty good right now, and and we're a part of that success. So. Things could happen in different places of the world that could cause us some problems. Doesn't mean that we need to move away from sound fiscal policies. You can't get away from the underlying proposition that lower taxes uh, brings about economic growth and uh, higher spending uh, stifles it. And uh, we've got to get a handle on both of those things. Would you uh, would you veto the farm bill? Just being a higher spending for a minute, and speaking of Dick Armey's first principles for limited government. Uh, it's going to be about a $300 billion farm bill on top of uh, $250 billion just a few years ago. A lot of people think that's insane. A lot of people think it's preventing a global free trade deal. Would you, as a President Thompson, veto a farm bill like that? I, I don't know everything that's in that farm bill. But uh, what I do know is that we've got to get away from perpetual dependence on the farm subsidy program that we've got. We've got to move away from that. Most of the farmers don't get it. Most of the crops are not subsidized, and uh, it's to totally a political deal. I know the president's tried to put a cap of like $200,000 uh, on, on those who can receive those subsidies. Democrat <coughs> Democrats want to keep it up to a million or something like Bare that. Bare minimum, 200. You know, there's people so, up on Park Avenue here in New York as <coughs> investors who are getting farm yeah. subsidy benefits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's disgraceful. We've got to move away from that. It doesn't make any sense. And again, it causes us problems with WTO. We should be opening up our markets and, uh, and have the high ground on those issues. Uh, uh, with the WTO, and uh, we're not doing that. Some of the things that we're doing are, are, are contrary to the, to, the, to the rules. So for a lot of different reasons, we, we've got to move away from the approach, uh, from the approach uh, that we've had for a long time. We thought freedom to farm, you know, back when I was in the Senate, was going to open that up somewhat. Now we've gone totally in another direction. Would you cut the corporate tax, whether there's a recession Absolutely. or not, Absolutely. just as a matter of policy? Absolutely. No question about it. How low would you take it? Uh, I, would st I would say it should be no higher than 28%. Uh, that would be uh, the, the norm of our competitive uh, uh, trading partners. Uh, we're the second highest now in the industrialized world. I think we're only one of two country that ha countries that hasn't lowered its corporate tax rates uh, since 1994. Uh, and, you know, when our rates start getting higher than our European friends, you know, we, we should take a serious, serious look at it. It's making us less competitive than we need to be. I don't know why in the world we're still uh, bashful about doing something that would be uh, uh, good for our companies from a competitive standpoint, be good for American workers. Uh, how, about the corporate, how about the corporate capital gains tax? You know, there's a fellow in New York, James Tish, Jimmy Tish, the CEO of Lowe's, been on the show several times. He wants to reduce the capital gains corporate tax. Nobody's talking about that. Have you given that any thought? Not really. What's off the top of your head? You just keep pushing, don't you? You'll find. I can't help. I just can't help it. There's so many things out there There's that so need many to, tax be done. to be done. Well, I'm going to get you with but Jimmy Tish. He's a think, smart guy. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but but from from the individual rate standpoint, from the corporate rate standpoint, we need to maintain uh, what we achieved 2001, 2003 individually, uh, and uh, we need to lower the corporate uh, uh, tax rate.